So we have been sharing with you reporting everything that uh, has been happening within this month. And it just feels like it's at breakneck speed and not just this month. But when you really go back and just consider the layers of implementation bit by bit, piece by piece, the foundation that has been laid for this global one world, this AI theocracy, this takeover of the data and all of the information about every human being enslaving it with uh, spyware and this identity of this AI just taking over everything. Uh, we really have very little information coming from the powers that be as to what this AI is. And I think a very good case when you listen to the People that have been in charge of the quantum computers, in charge of, you know, the, the Gordy Roses of the world, the, in charge of the D-Wave computers, Demon Wave computers, those who have been reaching into what they'll tell you are the other dimensions, the spiritual zones or spiritual realms that God said back in the Torah were forbidden to go into because he knew what he was talking about. He wanted to prevent us from being taken and deceived by these entities. You know, I noticed that every time God tells somebody not to do something, it's not because he's trying to be mean. It's not because he's trying to hem us in. It's not because he's trying to control us. He sees the end from the beginning and the other way around. He sees all possibilities, all ways and at all times. He's omniscient. He's all knowing, all seeing, all powerful and somehow omnipresent without being in the creation as the creation. Don't know how all that works. I'm not God. I'm just a sheep. One of his sheep. But he told us these things for a reason and man didn't listen. And so now you have this whole economy. Revelation 18. Go read it. You have this whole economy that is being pervaded with AI in every sector building and growing and now it's going to be yay guess what taking part of our global governance see now you have the un who is bringing it and we'll be doing videos talking about that shortly too because i have a whole ton of information to share with you about that bye bye the death of freedom is coming the death of freedom and so let's look at how that's going to happen. And this, is, this isn't this is even talking about the Antichrist. The Antichrist is another entity in and of himself. I can't wait to tell you what uh, is shaken with Rabbi Shapira and what he is planning to do. But that is another video for another moment. So algorithms, which when you see algorithm, those are the AI. Those are the, the programmed output of what they want these entities which by the way are fallen angels when you go into the demonic realms when you go into the spiritual realms that you're not supposed to and you get communication back uh they're not aliens they're not robots they're not ai artificial intelligence that's all a cover those are all lies they are the extremely intelligent angelic hosts that god ever made that he originally called the sons of God in Job 38, Genesis 6, and other passages. And they, just like we, don't obey God, one third of them also did not obey God. And so now they are coming to trick us because they hate Yahweh, they hate us, they hate the sons of God. The true born-again Christian is the sons of God. Son is opposite of slave. Son is an inheritor. Um, think uh, prince. Prince inherits the king's kingdom, but will be with him. So let's find out what's shaking with the death of the Constitution. The death of the Constitution. You'll have no more rights. And they are hemming you in. Read Luke 21. Luke 21 will tell you that the snare, this trap is being set all around you. Let's listen. place the constitution that's right big tech is moving to control government and if you don't see it you're not paying attention this is dave 
Podges. I'm the host of the... Oh, my word. He just said that he is in FEMA Region 9, in an in the, uh, undisclosed location out in the desert. And he repeated it twice. Oh, and by the way, I think Dave is one of them. But anyhow, let's listen. <laughs> Anyway, we're bringing you this report, and it's brought to you by Trade Genius um, Academy. There has... Yeah. Algorithms. Google will direct your story away from the mainstream if they don't like what you say and depending on your past. So anything that comes out with a common sense show, boom, it goes into oblivion. I'll give you an example. I have taken a story that I've written and I put in the exact title and Dave Hodges and put it into the search engine of Google and I've had it appear as low as page 27 and this is within five minutes of publication. I did it again within 15 minutes of publication. It was lower. It was now on page 28. This is absolutely incredible what's going on. Google is going to determine elections. They have bragged about it. They are going to do what they need to do to get the world the way that they want it. This is frightening, folks. We've seen this once before in history. The problem is <laughs> it was in the movies. That's right, the movies. Rollerball. Six corporations controlled the world. There were no more governments. The corporate wars were had and gone. And this is what we're headed for right now. We're headed for a corporate war right now in the world. It's the BRICS versus the Western bankers and the determination, the winner of the war, will absolutely determine who will win in terms of what will be the accepted currency for the purchase of oil. Will it be... Federal Reserve petrodollar will it be gold Venezuela and Iran will be two of the battlefronts algorithms that write about this algorithms that write about things like freedom the Constitution the rule of law those alone. stories will go to the bottom of the trash heap algorithms are replacing the US Constitution as we speak your rights are endangered they are becoming extinct I could go through every single Bill of Right in the first ten and show you how they're being devastated in fact that may make the source of a good article if you want to know how close we are to war I just completed a part one and soon to be part two series and it's on the common sense show.com you might want to check this out because it really has a lot of detail that you're not getting and I've even got a uh, Spanish broadcast uh, generally translated from Colombia that shows you things that you'll never see on American television the algorithms will not permit it Ladies and gentlemen, this is just an incredible time we live in. When I was at the Branson Conference, and I'm going to probably say this more than one time over the next several weeks, Mike Adams talked about these algorithms. And he said, there's definitely an alien influence on the planet. And before you snicker your nose up at it, the late great Jim Marr said the exact same thing to me on my show before he died. And Mike said, you kind of wonder if the AI that's in Google is not controlled by alien intelligence. And it's his premise, by the way, that we're being terraformed on this planet to go into extinction. Hard to argue when you look at chemtrails lowering sun yield by 18%, dropping aluminum and barium on us, causing record rates of cancer and Alzheimer's, causing less crop yield, 18% less sunlight. Fukushima radiating the world. I could go on and on. You get the idea. And Mike thinks there's an agenda behind it. And he thinks this could be the mouthpiece of the agenda. Control the elections. Control the outcome of humanity. If 
this time that we live in wasn't so darn serious. These theories would never see the light of day. I think Mike has a chance of being right. Do you have a better explanation? Please leave it in the comment section. I want to hear, before you criticize Mike, and before you criticize myself for mentioning this, come up with something different. Come up with something that fits. We'll see you back here again next time. Thanks for joining us. Okay, so let's see if we can find Mike Adams. Sometimes it's just a matter of the right keyword. Wow, ouch, 125 bucks. If you're not a wealthy Christian, my goodness, none for you. Wow, 125 bucks for a conference? So these are the superstars. <laughs> Do you know any of these people? Oh, okay. Oh, it's all making sense now. Okay, Mike Adams. Well, why didn't you give his brand? Had I known, he is the guy from naturalnews.com. Naturalnews.com was one of many groups that was hit and removed right off of Facebook and he had a lot a lot a lot a lot of uh, people following him and he he is definitely a tr truth teller read over this and just oh my goodness learn what is going on <laughs> this is crazy oh you got to have your your thing on it to be able to read it Health Ranger, oh, Food Forensics, right, the Natural News. Uh, he talks about all the stuff they're doing with the food. He will unveil setting new evidence that the planet is being terraformed to annihilate the human species and many native life forms in order to prepare the planet for the reseeding of non-Earth entities. Well, if... By non-earth entities, you mean demonic entities and Satan's coming. We know all that. <sighs> Sounds like it must stop. Sounds mm -hmm. like it must have been a fun thing. Okay, so the backdrop, it fits in with this whole Palantir, which you have Netanyahu mm -hmm. over here. You have the French president right here, and you've got the Whore of Babylon symbol right here in the middle in the red dress. <sighs> Palantir. Peter Thiel's company. I did videos on Palantir. It's spied on you and has all your information. You also have Trump, and each one of them is looking every different direction, north, south, east, and west, meaning global coverage. And this is also Palantir, and it's got the continents on it for the one world control of the AI. So you've got the guy that was uh, Saudi Arabia, which is where this thing is, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, Edadel. I did videos on that as well. It's stalking you, global stalker. You have the uh, president of Egypt here. You have, if that's a woman, I'd be very surprised. But that's another topic for another day. And uh, the Kabbalist himself, the picture of humility right here this man right here that just loves jesus i'm told he just loves jesus everything he does is for jesus he supports israel and her coming temple for the the messiah that's coming because he loves jesus even though the bible says that the antichrist will fill that temple 
He loves him some Jesus. And AI spyware in Edadel with our good friends, all 50 some of the Muslim nations together and Israel and China. He loves Jesus. So the Vatican and Islam, president of the Pontifical Council for Interreligious Dialogue, visits Global Center for Combating Religious Extremism, AI.